Can you tell the difference between my actual voice and my AI cloned voice? I uploaded three hours of my voice recorded to Eleven Labs and professionally created an AI clone of my voice, especially for news headline readings. So I'm gonna read three news headlines and you need to guess which is my real voice and which is my AI voice. I'll tell you after each one. Apple has implemented a new background feature in macOS Sonoma to analyze liquid presence in USB-C ports possibly stemming from past challenges with water damage claims and a costly lawsuit over inaccurate moisture indicators. What's your guess? And that was my AI-generated voice. Here's one more. Apple is set to refresh its entire iPad lineup in 2024, a move reported by Bloomberg's Mark Gurman that includes updates to the iPad Pro, iPad Air, iPad Mini, and the entry-level iPad. What's your guess? And that one was AI generated as well. All right, here's number three. During Apple's recent quarterly earnings call, CEO Tim Cook emphasized the centrality of artificial intelligence to the company's product, noting that AI and machine learning are fundamental technologies integrated into virtually every Apple product. Last guess? That one was actually my voice. All right, so is that flawless? No but it does get very close to sounding like me a lot of the time. So if you sign up for Eleven Labs Creator Plan, which is around $20 a month, you can actually create a professional voice clone of your own voice. To create that professional clone, you can upload hours of your own voice. And because I record lots of podcasts, I have many hours of my own voice recorded, isolated. And when you upload all that audio, you can tell it the style in which you would like to create this professional voice. I chose a news or headline reading style. As you'll see in a second, this professional voice recording is significantly different than the instant voice it will generate from just a few minutes of your voice recorded. Now, it also takes a long time. I have to wait about three to four weeks after uploading hours of audio for it to create this professionally cloned voice. But honestly, it's fooled a number of people. I've played it for some friends and family members and even they say it's a little creepy. It doesn't fool everyone. My friend Nate immediately recognized it was AI, but everyone agrees it sounds eerily like my own voice. Once you create your voice clones in Eleven Labs, then you can go over to the speech synthesis and generate audio files based on these clones. I can choose the professional new style voice or the instant voice. I'm gonna create an instant clone so you can hear what that sounds like versus the professional recording. You can also adjust things like stability, making it more variable in speed, which can sound natural, but it also gets a little weird if you go too far. Same thing with similarity enhancement and clarity, too high and it sounds weird, so you try to leave it there. And even a style exaggeration. I'll paste some text and it will generate from the instant clone voice pretty fast. Depending on how much text you put, it might take a few seconds to a few minutes. During Apple's recent quarterly earnings call, CEO Tim Cook emphasized the centrality of artificial intelligence to the company's products. Now that sounds like me-ish, but it's definitely clear that's an AI voice. So now let me do the professional voice cloning and see what that sounds like. During Apple's recent quarterly earnings call, CEO Tim Cook emphasized the centrality of artificial intelligence to the company's products, noting that AI and machine learning are fundamental technologies integrated into virtually every Apple product. Again, it may seem minor, but those little differences make this sound a lot more like me and less like an AI-generated voice. Let me actually show you one more time the AI voice versus my own voice, and I'm actually gonna go back and forth as I read this headline. During Apple's recent quarterly earnings call, CEO Tim Cook emphasized the centrality of artificial intelligence to the company's products, noting that AI and machine learning are fundamental technologies integrated into virtually every Apple product. Sometimes it gets a little weird, and I wanna talk about the ramifications in a second, but if you do this with Eleven Labs, now you can download this audio file and use it for whatever. I'm actually gonna try and sneak some into some podcasts soon and see if anyone notices, and honestly, I don't know if they will. Now, Apple actually built something like this into iOS 17. If you go to the accessibility settings, and then scroll down and you'll see personal voice. You can actually read about 150 statements and it will try to clone your voice in about 24 hours. Then you can have it speak any text in your cloned voice. During Apple's recent quarterly earnings call, CEO Tim Cook emphasized the centrality of artificial intelligence to the company's products. Now, if someone heard that voice clone, they'd probably think we have a Terminator situation. Now, Apple did mention AI for the very first time during their scary fast event, so maybe we'll hear more AI at WWDC in 2024. Making AI even faster while keeping data on device to preserve privacy. Apps like their iWork suite, Final Cut Logic could really use some AI tools, so hopefully we'll see that next year. Now, AI clones of voices and even actors' faces are becoming more and more of an issue. If you watch the Obi-Wan series from Disney+, Plus. Darth Vader's voice was actually a clone made from James Earl Jones. He was wise to use you against me. Company Respeecher in Ukraine actually used all the old recordings of James Earl Jones, put it over a voice actor, and that's what you hear in the show. And during the strikes this year, actors have said Hollywood studios want their AI replicas, meaning their face, maybe even for deepfakes and AI-generated content in the future. Now, there have been some wild deepfake videos in the past, especially one of Tom Cruise with an actor that really nails all his mannerisms and gestures. 
but we've not had an actor sell his likeness just yet. There were rumors that Bruce Willis did it, but that doesn't seem to be the case. But clone voices and faces are not the only issue when it comes to AI in Hollywood. The opening credits intro for Disney Plus's Secret Invasion was made by AI as well. Clearly, AI is getting really good really fast. So what are the ramifications in the near to even long-term future? Well, first of all, when it comes to voice cloning, two industries that will be heavily impacted is the audiobook narration industry and marketplaces like ACX from Amazon, where voice actors can try and pitch their voices and auditions to narrate an audiobook. I think this is gonna be needed less and less. Also, when it comes to language translation, YouTube has even announced that next year in 2024, they're gonna have AI tools built into the platform where you can translate your videos into other languages using AI. And if they have a pro version where you can clone your own voice and make it sound like it's a different language, that's gonna be pretty incredible. And when it comes to podcasts, if there are shows that are just straight news headline readings for just a few minutes every day, that could totally be done by an AI cloned voice. Now you do need to have the actual actor who provides the voice to be cloned and they could be compensated for that and they can either sign their licensing away or maybe there'll be new kinds of royalty agreements for ongoing use of that voice. And I could imagine that iconic celebrity voices like Morgan Freeman, might one day want to clone their voice so it could be used in years to come, maybe even after they pass. Or actors like Will Arnett, who voiced many commercials, will just use their AI voice clone to do the narration. They don't even have to record anything new. Happy holidays to your mouth. And while I don't think we're gonna be able to have a conversational style AI voice anytime soon, maybe that's five plus years off, I do think these single narrator news headline style voices or audiobook readings, we're one or two years away from it being pretty indistinguishable. And hopefully the detection tools, which can actually tell if this is AI generated or a natural voice, advance as quickly as the tools are for creating these voices. I've not seen any tools like that. If you know of any, drop them down in the comments. I'd be curious to know. And to be honest, as a podcaster, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. I like making content and talking into a microphone, but it could make it possible to create exponentially more content than I have before. And I am excited about the language translation opportunities. So videos and podcasts that I make can be available in almost every language around the world almost instantly, even though I don't know how to speak those languages myself. Aumentar las descargas de tu podcast o aumentar tu base de suscriptores. Realmente necesitas abordar temas relevantes, cosas que están de moda. Y now that does raise some concerns about, is this actually what I said? And do I need to have this fact checked? But overall, I feel these tools are very interesting. Some trepidation, pretty exciting how good they're getting. Honestly, I struggle with what to feel about it. So I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. Is this exciting? Do you have more concern? And would you care if an audiobook is read by the author, but it's their AI clone voice versus them actually speaking into a microphone for 10 hours? Does it make that big of a difference? And before you go, you can support real flesh and blood video creation by liking and subscribing to the channel. And also I'll put two videos over here you can check out. I think you really like them. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.